Airbus A330neo vs A350, the two newest members of Airbus's future widebody family. Why are we comparing the two? In 2004, Boeing launched the 77. Boeing believed the future of air travel was point to point. 77 would later be known as the 787. Boeing wanted to open new markets with 787's range capability, flying passengers direct to their final destination, but also to replace older, less efficient A330s, being 20% more efficient. Airlines asked Airbus for a response. Initially, Airbus proposed upgrading their A330 with an A330-200 Lite to compete with the 787 on shorter routes with the same new engines. Airlines wanted more upgrades and Airbus launched their new A350 in 2006 with new composite wings, new GENX-derived engines, new horizontal tail stabilizer, though the fuse latch was the same as A330. Several airlines still weren't impressed wanting an all-new aircraft with a composite fuse latch. Eventually, Airbus launched their carbon composite A350 extra wide body. Airbus targeted both the 787 and 777. A350 was to succeed the A340, which wasn't selling well against the twin-engined 777. A350-800 was meant to compete with the 787 and did receive 182 orders initially, but sales slowed as airlines preferred a more cost-competitive, smaller 787-9. In 2010, Airbus launched their A320neo, an upgraded A320 with new engines and aerodynamics to compete with the all-new single R's, most prominently Bombardier C-Series. Large A330 operators urged Airbus to study similar upgrades to the A330. Airbus did eventually launch their A330neo at the 2014 Farnborough Air Show, citing strong customer demand. A350-800 was axed, and the A330neo was to compete with the 787 or the A350 with 777. So comparing the closest variants, the A330-900 against A350-900, how big is the gap? Before we find out, subscribe for more epic videos on the way. Performance. A330-900 carries about 306 passengers to class to a range of 7,200 nautical miles in its newest 251-ton takeoff weight variant. A350-900 carries up to 335 passengers to class to a range of 8,100 nautical miles with a 283-ton takeoff weight in the new production standard. With a new 10 abreast layout with 17-inch white seats for MPS, it can now take 365 passengers without sacrificing range. Engines a330-900 uses the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engine with up to 72,834 pounds of thrust each. The A350-900 uses Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 engines with 84,000 pounds of thrust each.
Efficiency A330-900 burns 5.99 kg of fuel per kilometer, while A350-900 burns 5.67 kg per kilometer of fuel. A330-900 burns 2.67 litres per passenger or A350-900 burns 2.56 for every 100 km flown. Both figures are for typical two-class seating flying 5,500 nautical miles. Cabins a330-900 features an upgraded cabin based on the A350. Airbus brands both cabins as airspace cabins. A330-900 has the same new mood lighting with welcome effect, same newest IFE and Wi-Fi systems. It has an 8-breast layout with 18-inch wide seats. However, it's based on an older airplane and A350 has a nicer, more modern cabin. It has higher ceilings, larger windows with now the optional electronic shading system, lower cabin altitude with more moist air, an even quieter cabin, and even larger overhead bins. It also has a unique flat floor with underfloor cabling. A350 new production standard has 4 inch wider cabin, meaning in a typical 9 abreast layout it has 18.7 inch wide seats. However, Airbus is now promoting 10 abreast seats to add 30 more seats with narrow 17-inch seats. Overall though, A350 still has the nicer, newer cabin. Advantages and Disadvantages A330-900 is a cheaper aircraft to buy with a lower list price of 296.4 million compared to 317.4 million. Also, it has sufficient performances for most routes and covers 90% of A350 routes. However, its heavier aluminum structure means it's less fuel efficient. A350 has more performance and more efficiency. It also has a larger, nicer cabin. However, it's more expensive to buy. Airlines need to wait longer for delivery slots given it has a larger backlog of 302 aircraft compared to 208, though production rates will be higher eventually. Orders A330-900 has received 311 orders, or the A350-900 received 781. A350 has attracted more legacy airlines looking to replace 777s, while for airlines wanting to replace A330s, many have gone instead for Boeing's Dreamliner family. So overall, the gap between A330-900 and A350-900 is around 900 nautical miles more range and 30 more seats. Should airlines need extra performance, A350-900 is best. Otherwise, airlines can opt for the lower cost A330neo, though a better choice is the 787, an aircraft with the efficiency and technology on par with the newest A350 but designed around an A330 size. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for more epic videos on the way.